Kowalski was bearing down, and I was doing my best to hold up his fastball. But every time the ball smacked into my glove, the pain shot clean up to my shoulder. I didn't know if I could last out the game, but I knew I had to, or he'd have me where he wanted me. This is Wild Pitch, a baseball story of the one thrilling moment in a man's life that can only be called High Adventure. 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 Adventure, the top of the world in action drama for men. Brought to you by Shulton, makers of Old Spice aftershave lotion. For that top of the world feeling after every shave. You know, back in the days when Take Me Out to the Ball Game was number one on the Nickelodeon parade, a fella getting ready to take his girl to the game would get specially slicked up for the big occasion. Well, times have changed a bit since then. For now, attention to good grooming has become part of a man's daily life. That's one reason why so many thousands of men today make a habit of finishing every shave with Old Spice aftershave lotion. Once you've tried Old Spice lotion, its bracing freshness will become a part of your daily grooming you'll never want to miss. Old Spice aftershave lotion is soothing, cooling, and healing to the skin. And it has a clean, fresh, masculine scent that men prefer. So here's a good tip on good grooming for every man listening. Try Old Spice aftershave lotion tomorrow and you'll use it every time you shave. And now to our high adventure story, Wild Pitch, as told by the man who lived it, Windy Knowles. I guess every rookie ball player dreams of that one big chance in the majors. That's what kept me going anyways. Bouncing along in buses on overnight rides, sleeping in crummy hotels, grabbing a hot dog, running for a train. The dream was always there. 40,000 fans blowing their stacks and me banging one over the fence for the pennant. That's something to work for. I'd been out at Memphis, a farm club in the Seagull chain, for two seasons, and I was doing pretty good. Batting 311 and catching every game. A couple of the scouts had come through early in the year, and Buzzy, our manager, said they was looking me over. We was on the road for Birmingham late in August when it happened. One of them real hot days, and we just lost a tough one in the ninth inning. The guys were coming in the locker room, and everybody was pretty beat. What's the matter with you, shorty? Lost it in the sun, Nick. If you use sunglasses like Buzzy says, you wouldn't have lost it. Get out my back, will you? That was the ball game. I know it. What do you think we got a manager for? What's the difference? We ain't gone no place anyway. We could have a couple of guys to get on the ball. Ah, what are you beefing about? I suppose you look good. Break it up, you two. Yeah, but when... Game's over, forget it. Okay, okay, but if the dumb jerk could listen to Buzzy... We'd be in sixth place instead of seventh. Yeah. Forget it. How's your arm? Bruise, that's all. Let's have a look. It's okay. Let's see. (whistles) Gonna be sore as a boil tomorrow. Yes, sir. Last thing I want to be on a farm club is (laughs) catcher. You're crazy. Up in the majors, catching's okay. But down here, the way these wild maniacs throw okay, a ball, okay. just as soon kill you as throw to you. Shut up, Nick. Well, it's true. It's true. Why don't you try pitching? I've been watching him. Shut practice. up. You got a nice, graceful motion. You might even make the majors as a pitcher. Let's drop it, huh? Okay, okay. But I know. I've been upstairs. Well, you ain't there now. You're back in the miners where you belong, you old phony. Ain't another guy in the club I'd let say that to me. That's why I'm saying it. You're still playing ball, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Anyone know how the Gulls did today? Yeah, they won. Pachito pitched a two-hitter. No kidding, they'll cop that pennant yet. You see the paper this morning? The Gulls bought Big Cat and Kowalski from the Leafs. Yeah, they must have paid a bundle. What'd you say? Yeah, paid 45 grand. Kowalski. That's right, Kowalski. Were you deaf? Huh. What'd you say they paid for him? 45 grand. Right there, if that ain't pennant insurance. What's the matter, Wendy? Nothing. I'm gonna take my shower. Be right with you. The Wall Street. Come on, come on, don't take all day. Hey, what's eating you? Nothing, I just want to get out of here. Well, you don't all right, to... all right, hurry it up, you guys. The bus I'll leaves in a half hour. That's great, don't even give you time to Quit take it. Quit your Make it snappy, fellas. Yeah, yeah. Where's Rindy? In here. Yeah. Hey, kid, I got news for you. Huh? Telegram came right after the game. You, you read it. the soap, Wendy? Yeah. I'll toss it over. Go ahead, read it. I'm all wet. You read it. Okay. It says... 
Put Knowles on next plane, New York. Replacement to you from Elmira, signed Barney Patterson, Secretary of Farm System. You're going to the Majors, kid. Sure he's going. Didn't I tell you them Scots liked you? Hey, did you hear that? Hey, wait a minute, Nick, wait a minute. Huh? Nothing you can do about it, Buzz. What do you mean? I, uh, I kind of like it here. You crazy? I don't... I don't know whether I'm ready. Of course you're ready. Yeah, I thought you'd be on top of the world. You don't understand, Well, there's nothing I can do about it. You're going. Now, hurry up. Get your stuff. What's the matter, kid? I don't know. Well, everybody's a little jumpy when they go upstairs. That ain't it. I remember I was so scared I couldn't eat. Yeah, but... Don't uh, worry about it, kid. You got the stuff. I know you have. Yeah, Nick. Maybe. I wired Mary to meet me in New York the next day, then I bought every newspaper in town and hopped the plane. The Kowalski trade was in headlines, and down at the bottom of the page, a little story on me being brought in from Memphis. The Gulls' regular catcher broke his hand, and the second-string catcher had appendicitis. I met Mary at the airport and rushed right over to the field. We were playing the Blue Sox that afternoon, and our game-and-a-half lead was looking smaller and smaller. Kowalski was scheduled to pitch. I was rocky in the first inning, but after that I settled down. Got a single in the third, and from then on it was strictly business. Big Ed was pitching good, and his fastball was stinking. Long about the sixth, he started missing the corners, and I had the feeling he wasn't putting them where I was calling for him. There's nothing that's tougher on a catcher than getting set to take one low on the outside, and your pitcher grooves one high on the inside. Going into the ninth, we were ahead three to two. We got the first two hitters, and then Donowski walked the next two men. Next batter got an infield single, and the bases were loaded with two out. I went out to talk to Big Ed. Bushes, you crazy or something? I know what I'm doing. Then start putting them where I call for. I can pretty big for a bush. I'm telling you, keep throwing them like you are, and I'll miss one. You catch them, I'll pitch them. I miss one with the bases loaded, that'll be the ball game. You're in the big time now, rookie. You throw this one away, it won't be my fault. Come on, Wendy, let's play ball. Smarten up, Kowalski. I know what I'm doing. What's you doing, serving T nose? Blow. What's the matter, kid? Nothing. Well, let's go then. Can't wait all day. Batter up. Okay, baby, okay. Let's see that big rainbow. Bend in that big one. The head is it. It swings out swing. Ball one. That guy wild as a woodpecker. Keep your eye on the ball, Nose. I'm watching it. Don't you know what you're calling for? Sure, I know. It don't look like it to me. Crazy jerk. Who? Cool. Kowalski. Watch what you're saying, rookie. Step in, sir. Okay, Peppy. Let's see that high hard one. Blow it right past him, baby. Here it is. Here it is. Out. Ball two. Uh, dirty. You okay, kid? Yeah. Got me on the arm. Let me see. It's okay, I tell you. Calling time. Okay, kid, but make it snappy, will you? Can't you keep your eye on the ball, Busher? You out of your head. What's the matter, rookie? I called for your curve. So? What's the idea? Throwing your fastball. Wasn't fast enough. Yeah? Next time I'll ram it right down your throat. Okay, wise guy, you want to play rough? That's the way I like it. Break it up, Nose. Got a game to play. Dumb jerk. Can't you take it, Busher? Hurry it up, kid. Get the crowd home for supper. Yeah, yeah. If Big Ape throws in my head again, I'll smack it right back in his face. Step in, sir. Okay, okay. Here we go now, baby. Let's see that big floater. Wait it right around his neck, Peppy. Swing, sir. Swing. <laughs> There it goes. There it goes. Way back. It's in for sure. Yep, home run. What'd you call for a knock on the floor? I called for your fastball, and you know it. That wasn't a signal I saw. All right, all right. What happened? The kid called for a knuckler. I told you Sour can time a slow pitch, Wendy. Crazy busher. But Mr. Mitchell... Got a lot to learn, kid. But just... And the first thing's to take orders. Never make a catcher out of him, okay, Billy. Okay, Ed. They're falling all over That's itself. enough now. Making me look like a rookie. That's enough, Ed. I better give you a rest, kid. Okay, okay. There'll be other days. Yeah, sure. We'll let Halsey finish the game, Ed. Come on, Wendy. Yeah. Don't let it throw you, kid. What was the trouble? Nothing. Just couldn't get started, huh? It's nothing, Mr. Mitchell. That you, Herb? Yeah. Be with you in a minute, just putting the potatoes on. It's okay. Paper's in on the chair. Did you find it? Yeah. Didn't know whether you'd get my message. I'm hearing that. I'll say you are. Where'd you get that apron? Borrowed it from the lady next door. You like it? How much she weigh? Who? Lady next door. <laughs> it's a little big, but that's all right. You can wear it. When, when I you... do the dishes? <laughs> 
Come here. Put the potatoes. Let them burn. You... Be sorry. Yeah, sure. Yeah, not a bad little dump. I like that dump. How'd you find it? An agent. Pretty smart gal. Ball player's wife has to be smart. And besides... What? He was a golf fan. Oh. Will you go on and read the paper? I can talk from the kitchen. Yeah. How'd it go today? Okay. All right, what happened? What do you mean? Whenever I get that okay, I know something went wrong. No. I would have listened, only I didn't have a radio. I know. What happened? Just kind of rough, that's all. Did you win? No. What was the score? Lost at 6-3 in the ninth. Who pitched? Stop asking so many questions. You'd be mad if I didn't. Well... What's the matter? I'm tired, I guess. All right, we won't talk about it. Kowalski. What? Kowalski pitched. Big Ed? Yeah, Big Ed. Didn't he have it? I don't know. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. Well, that's a silly answer. Well, let's stop talking about it. All right. But I'll read about it in the papers tomorrow, so I might as well hear your side now. Okay, okay. That's better. Now, what happened? I was doing pretty good. Did you get any hits? Yeah, a single in the third. Was robbed of one in the sixth. That's good. Go on. Long about the sixth, Kowalski started missing. Lose his stuff? No, he just wasn't throwing what I called for. What do you mean? I'd call for a curve, he'd throw a knuckler. That's funny. Yeah. Why? Mary. Yes, honey? There's something... What is it? Nothing. You were going to tell me something. No. Something important. It was nothing. What was it? Nothing, nothing, I said. I'm sorry. It's all right. Just tired, plane trip and everything. I'm tired too, Wendy. I know. Let's forget the whole thing. All right, if you want to. What are we having for supper? Sweet potatoes and ham. Honey. Yes? I love you. I wanted it to seem like home for you. I'm sorry I lost it up. I just don't like us to argue. Me neither. I know. Well, I'll get dinner. Mary. Yes? They took me out in the ninth. Why, Wendy? I looked bad. Were you? No. Well, then why? Kowalski made me look bad. Oh, that doesn't... Don't ask any more questions. All right, Wendy. And don't look so hurt. I'm sorry. Can't a guy have a bad day once in a while? From then on, there was plenty of bad days for me. Didn't make no difference who was pitching. I was trying too hard. I never did look good. We made our last swing through the rest, and while the team was playing 500 ball, I made six errors in 23 games. Had nine hits for 72 times at bat. They'd have sent me back to Memphis, except the team was winning, and there just wasn't anyone else could catch. We got back to New York late in September, a game out of first place behind the Blue Sox, and a big three-game series with the Sox staring us in the face. Billy Mitchell, the manager, was being fried by the front office and the local papers, so he was taking it out on us. We dropped the first game of the series, and the next morning, Billy had us working like dogs. Kowalski was pitching batting practice. Billy was catching him. I was waiting for the cage for my turn. Well, it'll never be a hitter if you're going to slap at the ball, Hank. Swing through that arc, follow through. Now keep that bat moving. Okay, Ed, slide one down the middle. Now keep your eye on it. And a boy, Hank! That's better, son. Now just time it. You swung too soon, that's why you pulled it. Give us another, uh, Kowalski. That's the stuff. Now just keep that timing for the game this afternoon. You'll get yourself a couple of hits. Get going now, five times around the field. All right, okay, Wendy, your turn. Well, if it ain't the All-American out. Get off his back, Ed. Now, when are you going to stop swinging at them bad balls, kid? I don't know, Billy. You're a big guy with arms like you. Got you ought to paste that apple over the fence. Yeah. You know, you don't have to hit to get on base. There's a thing called a walk. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's get to work. Make some up, Ed. Give him some good ones and some bad ones. Whatever you say, boss. Now, keep your eye on it. Don't swing. Don't swing. It was way outside. Couldn't you see it was breaking off? I guess I'm meager. Sure, something's wrong. You've got to follow that ball from the minute it leaves the pitcher's hand. Yeah, I, know, I know. Okay, well, let's try it again. Give us another one, Ed. It's a pleasure. Now watch it, kid. Don't swing. Don't swing. 
What'd you swing for? I didn't swing. I was protecting myself. Jed. He was trying to dust me. Cut that out. He was. That was right on my head. I told him to mix him up. You didn't tell him to dust me. He wasn't trying to. He was, to... I tell you. I seen guys killed. Maybe you had enough for today. No, you don't. Tell him to put one where I can hit it. I'll slap it right back in his teeth. Wait a minute, son. Wait a minute. This is a game, you know. I won't have any feuding on my club. Just put one in the strike yeah, zone. Don't you forget it. Yeah, yeah. What's the matter, Busher? Can't you take Cut it? Cut it out, Ed. Sure, sure. All right, now give him another. I'll give him one. Keep your eye on it. Oh, you hit him, kid. Oh. Where did it hit you? Shoulder. Which one? The left. Well, at least it's not your pitching arm. Yeah. All right, somebody get a duck. It'll be okay. Can you get up? Yeah. All right, take it easy. Uh, that's better. I'm okay now. Keep moving it. I don't want it to get stiff. That's nothing, Billy. Lucky it wasn't worse. Yeah. Windy, you crazy jerk. You could have knocked us right out of the pen. He was trying I don't to... care what you thought. This team... Uh, leave him alone, boss. Huh? It was an accident. No, it wasn't. It was an accident, I tell you. Those things happen. <clears throat> okay, whatever you say, Ed. But Windy can thank you. He's still on this club. But Billy, I'm I telling just... you, kid, this happens again. You'll be back in the bushes so fast, it'll make you dizzy. Come on, let's break it up, fellas. All right, All right go on, kid. Five times around the field. Yeah. Wait a minute, Knowles. I'll do him with you. Uh, you better go back to clubhouse. Here. I'm okay now, boss. Well, you know how you feel. You're the doctor. Uh-huh. Think you'll be able to pitch tomorrow? Sure. All right, get going. Keep moving that arm. Sure, boss. When did you find out about accidents, Kowalski? I didn't. I don't get it. You know you was trying to dust me. <laughs> Who'd believe you now, Busher? <laughs> Danger and excitement ahead for Windy Knowles. But that's only to be expected, for these are the keynotes of high adventure. I've got a feeling that actually living through the thrills and dangers of a high adventure wouldn't really suit me. I like my comfort too much. And speaking of comfort, I'd like to remind you men about the extra fine feeling of comfort you get when you finish your morning shave with Old Spice after shave lotion. For Old Spice lotion has a skin-tingling freshness that makes you feel wide awake and ready for the day. Once you've tried Old Spice Lotion, you'll know right away why more men buy it than any other aftershave lotion at a dollar. Old Spice aftershave lotion has a convenient dispensing top with an exclusive leak-proof feature. And the handsome ship-decorated bottles are a pleasure for a man to see and to use. There are two generous sizes of this quality lotion, a dollar and a dollar seventy-five. Look for the handsome red Old Spice cartons at drug and department stores everywhere. And remember, everywhere you go, you'll find that men who really value their own comfort say, for that top-of-the-world feeling, I use Old Spice lotion after every shave. And now, back to Wild Pitch. A high adventure story about a ball player with a problem too deep in his heart to tell his own wife, who knows that every time he steps on the field, death may be riding on every pitch. Finish your soup, honey. I ain't hungry. You won today. Yeah. And what's the matter? I don't know. I just ain't hungry. You can't keep up like this, Wendy. I know. Not eating, not sleeping. I know, Mary. No job's worth it. It ain't the job. All right, we won't talk about it. Got to win that game tomorrow. Try to forget it. Put us back in a tie for first place. You won't win it if you sit up all night worrying about it. Practically wrap up the pennant for us. All right, who's pitching? Who do you think? Big Ed. Yeah. Everything will work out, honey. Yeah. Come on, let's dance. Oh, Mary. Come on, do your good. Okay, okay. It's a fine way to ask your girl to dance. Sorry. I can remember when I couldn't keep you off the floor. Yeah. Now I have to drag you. Ain't that bad? Pretty near. Cut it out, will you? <laughs> See? It's not so hard to take. You said it was. Hold me tighter. I don't know which way you're going. You're not kidding me. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, you Big hit him. jerk. <laughs> Did not. 
I saw you had your eyes closed. I did? Yes. I can remember when you used to keep yours closed, too. Okay, it's a deal. Hey, why don't you look where you're... Oh, it's all right. Just keep dancing. Dumb ox. Dance. Yeah. Mary. Yes, dear? There's something I got to tell you. I know. Yeah, well... You want to tell me here? I guess so. All right. Long time ago, when I just started playing oh, golf... Oh, oh. Wow. If it ain't the busher... <laughs> Kowalski. Who is the cute little doll you got with you? Beat it. Come on, rookie. Don't beat it. I told you to Let's beat it. Let's go back to the table, Wendy. That's right, baby. All go back to the table. Kowalski. Come on, Wendy. Where are you sitting? Come on over and say hello. What'd you do that for? I didn't want you to start anything. Make me look like a jerk. He was drunk. What difference does that Where's make? Where's the table? Over there. Now listen to me, Wendy Knowles. If he comes over here, you behave yourself. Tell him that. I mean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he comes. Now remember. Hey, what do you say we all have a little old drink, huh? Waiter, waiter. Pipe uh, down, chump. Windy. Okay, okay, we won't have a drink. Who's your cookie, Windy boy? Come on, introduce you to Big Ed. I'm Windy's wife. Oh, wife, huh? <laughs> That's a good one. That's all right. Tawasi. I am. On the level, huh? No kidding. On the level. Well, what do you know about that, huh? You got a pitch tomorrow. Oh, I'll be all right, I'll be all right. Always have a couple of nights before I pitch. Yeah. Windy's wife, huh? What do you know? What's so surprising about that? I suppose you know all about Wendy, huh? Shut up. Of course I do. Do you ever know a Wendy didn't used to catch? Mary. Yeah, he used to be a pitcher, old Wendy. Shut didn't. up. Let him Only, talk. Uh, thank you, thank you. Only he wasn't Wendy Knowles then. Nah, he was Johnny Nairn back in them mm. days. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Mary. You want to know something else funny? What? He killed my brother. It was an accident, Mary. Yeah. He killed my brother. Come on, let's get no. out. No. Go on, please. Hit him with a pitch. Saw him bending over that and he... It was an accident, Mary. It was batting practice. He was in the cage and I was pitching. I was just a wild southpaw with a fastball like lightning. I went into my wind up and just then he bent over to brush off the plate. I couldn't stop. The ball hit him on the side of the head. He was dead by the time I got to him. Pretty good, huh? Shut up. <laughs> accident. Yeah, accident. Uh, you hated him. Sure, I hated him. He was a big, loud mouth jerk just like you are, but I wouldn't kill him. <laughs> Didn't you ever hit no one? Not unless I meant to. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know, Mary. I was gonna. Why'd you change your name? I blew up after that. Couldn't get the ball over the plate. They said I was kill crazy. Couldn't get a job or nothing. I changed my name, started catching. I'm leaving, Wendy. Mary. Please don't come with me. You can't, I Mary. I want time to think. So long, Mrs. Knowles. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Party's going dead. You bitch. Hey, look out. I'll kill you. Back off, you. You loud, so loud. You jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get up. I'll finish this tomorrow. I went to the nearest hotel, and as soon as I was up in the room, I looked at my hand. It was busted. I felt it go when I hit Kowalski. I didn't see Mary next morning before the game, but on the way over to the field, I stopped in a drugstore and got a soft rubber sponge. Billy'd start asking questions if I put a bandage on it, so I just kept the hand in my pocket. We got away to a two-run lead in the first inning. Kowalski was shaky, but soon as he got the liquor sweated out of him, he settled down. Just before I went out to catch, I slipped the sponge in my mitt under the bad hand. But every time he threw one in, the pain shot clean up to my shoulder. I didn't give him an easy time either. After every pitch, I sent it back to him as hard as I could, and he came right back at me, only harder. And that's the way it went. He was mowing him down, using nothing but his fastball, and pitching the best game of his life. Going into ninth, we had our two-hitter going. We were still ahead two to nothing. We got the first two men out, the next one singled, and the next one walked. Men on first and second with two away, and the Sox sent Georgie Hartman up to pinch hit. I went out to talk to Kowalski. Go on back and catch him, Busher. Can it? I'll do the pitching. Then try getting something on your fastball. I'll throw it right through you. You couldn't throw it through a tissue. Yeah. Let's go, Wendy. Let's play ball. And don't forget, I want to see you after You'll the game. You'll see me. Come on, Knowles. We'll be playing this under the lights. Yeah, yeah. Step in, Hartman. Okay, yeah. Here we go, Pappy. This is for the marbles. Bend that big one in the head. It's it. It's swing, George. It's swing. All right, one. That fastball sure dances. Got him singing, Pappy. Got him singing. Keep him moving, Wendy. Sure, sure. Step in, Hoppin. Wait a minute. Dust my hair. Hurry it up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Here yeah, we go, okay. baby. Here we go. Just float it up there. Let him cut. Swing, swing. Here I do. That's a ticket, Eddie, 
Maybe he can't even stay a point. That thing's really popping. Like a canary, Peppy. Singing like a canary. Come on, Hoppin. Keep it moving. Take your time. Step in. Okay, okay. It's a big one, baby. That's for the money. Hey, Dusty. Look out, Dust. Hit him on the head. Up like a light. Bring a stretcher. Stay out there, Kowalski. How is he? I don't know. All right. All right. Don't let it throw you, Ed. Uh, couldn't, couldn't stop. What happened? Dust in his eyes, Billy. Couldn't be helped, Ed. S- started my All mind right. up. It was an I... accident. Accident. Yeah. Keep moving that arm. Keep moving that arm. Yeah. yeah. Now, let yeah. load the bases. You want me to take you out? What? No, I, I'm okay. I, I'll finish. Let's go, Wendy. Play ball. All right. Now, don't let it throw you, Ed. I, I'm Okay. Burn in that big one, Pappy. Burn in that stop big one. Stop the game because the guy gets hit. How is he? Got a hard head. He'll be okay. Good. All right, step in, sir. Yeah, yeah. Let's sit in here, baby. Let's see that big rainbow. Here it is. Here it is. Swing. Hot oh. later, Sean. Stay with it. Stay with it, boy. Stay with it. Got it. That's the ball game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. About that uh, after the game stuff. You still want to? No. Let's let's forget the whole thing, huh? Okay. Shake. Shake. Oh. What's the matter with your hand? Nothing. Let me see. Forget it, will you? Looks busted. I said it was nothing. Hey! Hey, fellas! When you caught the game with a busted hand, what do you know? Busted. I let you guys yeah. play out. Baby. Oh, I missed you so last night. Me too. Kept hoping you'd call. I wanted to. Why didn't you spank me? <sighs> it was only my pride, you know. Yeah. Couldn't figure out why you hadn't told me. Maybe... I knew it must have been an accident. I wasn't sure myself till I saw it happen again today. Come on, let's go. Wild Pitch, the story of the one great moment in a man's lifetime. The moment that has but one meaning, high adventure. And important in bringing our story to life, Jack Orison in the role of Windy, with Joyce Gordon, Maurice Tarplin, Jim Bowles, Mort Lawrence, and Don Douglas. The High Adventure Orchestra was conducted by Lou Davies. And next week, High Adventure is proud to present the story of a man who found death in a ball of wool, in a tiny piece of rock. We like to call it wool over his eyes. Until next week, when you can again hear another full hour and a half of adventure and mystery over NBC at this time, this is George Hogan saying, whatever you do, wherever you go, it's there to live. We like to call it high adventure. Now, here's special news. Introducing new Shulton shampoo in a plastic bottle that absolutely cannot break. Even if you drop it on the floor or in the shower, you'll never need to worry about splintered glass. New Shulton shampoo leaves hair wonderfully clean, dandruff-free, easy to manage. And ladies, new Shulton shampoo actually gives your hair more glory lights. New Shulton shampoo in the unbreakable bottle bears the good housekeeping guarantee seal. On sale now at drug and department stores everywhere. Next, number three of four big new Sunday mysteries on NBC.